So, um, hello student, welcome back. And uh, today is our class. And, um, um, mm. yeah. Okay, so let's continue. This is uh, previously we finished until this question for SPM revision. As usual, remember to do your exercise to keep on improving. Diagram 3 shows a set of operators to investigate the relationship between. I like to highlight so that it um, eventually help us to understand. I also reckon, I also always um, encourage students to highlight. Wait, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, and mass and inertia. So there is a relationship between mass and inertia. So what is the relationship with mass and inertia? Uh, the higher the mass, the higher the inertia. Yeah, the higher the mass and the higher the inertia. What is the definition of inertia? It's in its existing state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line, unless that state is changed by an external force. Yes, correct. So, um, it's the resistance of from other unrest or movement <coughs> from the force. So, of course, the higher the mass, then that will be the more inertia so we can see there's a, a can 200 gram we can roughly um know the experiment and then this one is 400 gram 800 gram i'm thinking they are going to swing it because if you swing it the one that stop is the slowest is to stop is what a b or c mm, c c okay because it's a resistant as it's moving is the resistant towards Stopping. For example, if I take a bus and a car move in, let's say 40 miles per hour, um, if I just let, let the pedal go, I don't want to press the brake, the, the car will also go, but the bus will go longer because the bus got higher inertia. The bigger the, inertia, the, bigger the mass, the higher the inertia. Three can ABC are pushed at the same force, time is taken and is observed. So we can see time taken is 2 minutes, time taken is 4 minutes, and time taken is 15 minutes. So this proof our hypothesis is true where the higher the mass, the higher the inertia, the more inertia. Based on Tiger State 1 observation in this experiment. So what is the observation in this experiment? Took the longest time to stop. Correct. Okay, so this one I don't want to write lah. Huh? Team at mm. Ken C took the longest time to write while team at Ken A took the shortest time to um to what time to stop for example okay so just write um this one in word this actually this whole thing is the word huh? this whole thing is the observation it's just like but it's just like the tabulation of data mm. state the manipulated variable what is the manipulated variable uh wait a uh, mass of the team. Oh, can or team? Can or? Yeah, mass of. Okay, so if you read the question, we can see that the the mass will be here, mv, and the inertia will be the responding variable, rv. Uh, it cannot hmm. be this one, mv and rv. I don't, don't, don't to balance this uh, because you you change yeah. this to get the effect of the inertia. Not you want to change the inertia to get the effect of the mass. It doesn't make sense. So when we read, we we need to know what is the mv and uh, rv response variable. Even though it use n, you need to think by yourself. Okay, what you want to change in order to manipulate, which is the inertia, is the responding, what it respond. And usually for research, of course, we always target about responding invariable inertia. So you want to take mass, you want to take maybe the volume, you want to take volume effect inertia, mass effect inertia, and maybe you want to say uh, whatever like wind effect inertia, I don't know. And then you want to test it out whether your hypothesis is true or false. I'm not saying true, uh, I'm just saying as, as a mm, yeah. to experiment. Okay, state the manipulated variable will be the mass. So this you will get uh, one point for this one. Mass of the 10. State one hypothesis of the experiment. What is the hypothesis? Uh, the higher the mass, the higher the inertia. The higher the mass, maybe I say the 
longer the time that all the time taken taken for the can to stop okay um, but this is the marking scheme lah but you shouldn't write the higher the mass the higher i would uh, give correct uh. but but the marking scheme say like this so i just follow if candy with 600 gram of soy is used in this experiment predict the time taken so if 600 gram what is the time Six, 600 though. yeah 600 gram so what uh, would be the time 8 seconds uh. 8 seconds so yeah okay 8 seconds 8 minutes more, you don't write more than 4 less than 15 yeah that's, oh, 8 minutes yeah it will be between here lah, huh? so probably you want to put 8 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 uh, up to you lah, huh? so let's say you put here um uh, 8 minutes for example huh? Remember to write minute lah, don't write second or don't write just eight lah. State the operation definition of inertia. So we can say that inertia, inertia is the time taken. The time taken for the cans to, to what? To stop swinging. Okay, so this... Oh, yeah will be the oh, yes, yes. operational definition um operation definition is different than definition of inertia definition of inertia is just now like what you read operation definition means what is the definition in this experiment in this experiment the definition of inertia is inertia is the time taken for the cans to stop swinging but this, of course, this is not the real definition of inertia. This is the operational definition. So operational definition, actually, it depends on the experiment. What See what experiment you are doing. If you are doing something like this, then it relates to the time taken. That's why we just add the time taken into the definition of inertia. Okay, so, yeah. So operation definition, uh, remember to refer back to the in the question so the question is mm. relating yes. to are we so probably you want to um you want to huh, think are we maybe operationization you need to consider are we okay next section b diagram 4.1 show the process of latex coagulation chemical adds latex and coagulated latex so latex is we know it is rubber mm, correct rubber, rubber. Yes. And coagulated latex, it means hardened. Okay, hardened um, latex. So this can be yes. latex and coagulated latex. And of course, we want to harden it. Uh, okay, we want mm. to harden it because uh, we want to um, take it for traveling. Uh, then we we then we um, soften it back the word is called okay so um that's the word lah, huh? not not to coagulate either we want to coagulate the latex to make it harden or we don't want to coagulate the latex so why it coagulate um one way we can make it coagulate is just by leaving it or we put some acid okay so it's like how to say uh? it's like your milk lah, huh? if you left your milk for very long your milk also will be coagulate because the bacteria and the virus the bacteria huh, will grow in your milk so you put your milk after a while then you open up pull it out it will blah, 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 blah. okay so there will be coagulation for the rubber also is the same what you need to do is you just leave it maybe you leave it for two three days or maybe one day it will coagulate by itself because the bacteria will grow it will produce acid and if you, uh, as you have the acid it will start to coagulate and of course to not coagulate it back what we should put okay so of course if you put acid it will coagulate and if you put alkaline it looks like anti-coagulation okay? alkali so for me this one acid you anything like how you want to put by acid hcl or sulfuric acid um h2so4 
Goblet it alkaline, you want to put ammonia, okay, and uh, history. For example, huh, not to coagulate it because acid has the property of hydroxide ion, alkaline has the property of hydroxide ion. The reason it coagulates because it got acid, got hydrogen ion. We actually help it the particle to bond, and hydroxide ion act as the opposite. Of course, there is also water. Lah. Mm. Of course, there is a water to some of water to uh, make it work. Acid always need um, water to show its properties. Without water, it won't be acid. Like if you see in the movie or what, you can see that acid is always in the terms of liquid. It is impossible you mm. get the acid in a uh, solid form. Okay. Um, diagram 4.1 show the proper state one example of chemical X. So what is the chemical S? Example of chemical X. So we can say this is using forming acid. Actually, um, any acid will do lah. But the marking scheme say forming acid. So I just put forming acid. Actually, if you want to put, um, actually any acid will do actually. Huh? Um, state one characteristic of the coagulator. So what is the characteristic? Yes, okay, so the characteristic, the rubber will be hardened or more elastic, more elastic, or you can say it's uh, uh, slightly harder, okay, but I put here more elastic. Lah, huh? Chemical S in diagram form, I replace with chemical P to prevent the latex. So now the latex is coagulation and we don't want that, we want it to be liquid. State one example of chemical P. Very good. So this one will be ammonia solution. Double M. Ammonia solution. Diagram 4 by 1 show the process where natural rubber. Usually when they are referring to this, they are talking about natural rubber. Lah, huh? The reason they say natural rubber because now there, uh, there is a synthetic rubber. Uh, mix either they mix it or they fake the rubber. It used to have a very high. If you read history, you know that rubber has used to be has a very high value in the market until they make synthetic rubber or and it the rubber price eventually drop a lot. So when natural rubber is heated with sulfur, so instead of putting either you want to put acid to coagulate it or you put ammonia to prevent coagulation. Or we put sulfur. Why we want to put sulfur? To make it uh Yeah, so we call this process name the process is called vulcanization. Vulcanization. Which eventually will make it more elastic and stronger as they are forming more and more bonds between the rubber. Okay, so let's say this is the rubber. So they are forming more and more bond. Okay, Be before this is just like that. Okay, uh, no, not really a, a bond. After you put sulfur, there, there's a great bonding. Name the rubber M. Okay, of course this is called vulcanized <coughs> rubber. Vulcanized rubber. Okay, vulcanized rubber. Take the object that is made from M. So which one is made from M? So hey, no. tire, tire. Tire. Be fire. Okay. Because <laughs> if you put sulfur, it will harden, yeah. it will be stronger. Balloon is more elastic and medical girth is also very elastic. But tire we can see it's not elastic because you already we already vulcanized the rubber by adding sulfur into it. Of course, um yeah. There is a different function uh, whether you want to put it, make it more elastic or you want to make it uh, other thing. It used to, last time, they, if I'm not mistaken, they used to download or what. Uh, they used to make handbag. They, they found a way to make the rubber harder. So they, they, are, they, are, they want to make, so they make handbag actually. Eventually, no people buy the handbag because uh, who want to buy a I don't know. Uh, they, they just don't get the market of buying a so they, they say they, they try to use the rubber to make a uh, tire because the rubber is hard. So eventually they, they are become very successful. I think it's what company? I forgot lah. Some of the very famous tire company actually come from this story. 
Table 4 show the body mass and height of two students, Muhammad Sufyan and Benny Tan. Body mass of 44, 67, height, uh, this is slightly higher. So, of course, this topping, they are talking about the BMI. So, you can calculate your BMI, whether mm. it is, uh, you are at the, but here didn't put, you the, didn't put the range. Uh, based on the body mass, calculate mm. and classify them. Mudian, eh, based on one question. Oh, sorry. Calculate oh, the body complete. mass index. Yeah, for Muhammad Sufyan and Benny Ten. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, the formula will be kg divided the mass, kg in kg divided by the height, power of 2. So mass will be 54 over 1.45 power of 2. What's the answer? So this will be the body mass for Muhammad Sufyan. Yes. And uh, for Benny, it will be, again, you are doing the same, 67 divided by 1.71 divided by 2. So, you will get 22.913. So, this one you can do by yourself to see whether you are healthy or not. So, what is the body mass index scale? Okay, so you can see from here, this is the BMI. For, it's a bit not clear, lah, but roughly we can see it here is 18.5. Uh, if you are lower than 18.5, you are considered uh, underweight. Underweight, lesser than 18. Oh. If you are more than 24 point, what is this number? 5, is it? You will consider yes. overweight and um, so on. So, what is your BMI? Well, I just want to check whether you are healthy or not. Can you very healthy, very healthy. <laughs> Okay, so uh, for anyone else there, you can always uh, uh, ch check your BMI using this one. And uh, if you are between 18.5 to 24.3, then you are considered normal. But of course, for me, I, I just calculate mine is... Um, I used to be 18. I used to be underweight. Nowadays, I'm 20. Wow. Yeah, I'm 20. Yeah, really. yeah, I used to be underweight because... Um, I'm very thin. I'm very thin, but now I'm getting fatter because I always go out and eat at a food court. But I don't want to be like uncle, you know. I'm I'm thin. I don't want to be like <laughs> uncle. uncle. You know the uncle, they yeah, yeah. they are thin, but suddenly in the middle there is something like a ball. Ah, go to tummy. I I I don't want like that. Okay, I I just hope it to be nice. I hope you are you will you guys will be at least a good and healthy body shape. Okay. Based on body mass, classify Muhammad Sufyan. So, wait, just now I just erased it. Maybe uh, this will. Uh, oh, so, wait, oh, wait. 25.68. So, 25.88, yeah, it will be slightly overweight. Slightly overweight. Yeah, so it will be overweight, um, obesity, extreme obesity. So, they will consider as overweight. Of course, as you go more, you will die, lah, huh? Easily, you will die. Thin or so, you will die. But usually, normal weight and over it depends uh, depend on the situation. Overweight might survive longer in uh, winter because they have many fat yeah. oil. <laughs> and underweight, <laughs> who knows what happened during war and then suddenly no food. Yeah, then all the overweight will survive, all the underweight will, will die, okay? Because there is nothing for them to burn in their body. Okay, so uh, for Muhammad Sufyan is considered as overweight because it's more than 25. So wait, uh, just let me put here. Sufyan is overweight. Oi, 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 oi. Wait, let me take my pencil. Uh, where is my pencil? Here. Overweight. And for Benny Tan, I know it's Ten or tan, it will be twenty two point nine. So it will be considered as desirable weight. Wow, desirable weight. But of course, sometimes this is slightly not accurate rate. But is, uh, I think doctor they have a graph. They don't look at BMI because of uh, 
I don't know lah. Huh? They say something is not that clear, but it is something lah. It shows something. Maybe because the person has different um bone mass or what. I I'm not sure, but that that is a graph, and also due to your age, certain age there will be a certain um range rather than you want to classify all the age into a specific category. So yeah, the doctor will have a graph to see anyway. But we are just uh, studying SPM. Who is at risk of getting high blood pressure? Who is at risk? Uh, Muhammad Sufyan. Yeah, Muhammad Sufyan. Because we can see that um, even though, or oh, this is a trick question, even mm. though he is lighter than Benny Tan, but the height is shorter. So he is a short fat guy. Huh? That's why we need to use BMI to feel it. So of course, uh, he has a high blood, has a higher risk of getting blood pressure. So it will be Muhammad Sufyan, because obviously if he is fat, he has high cholesterol. He has a lot of fats. So if you, this is your blood vessel, this is the lumen. It used to be very big the lumen, but due to the Due to the cholesterol, it will stuck at here. So eventually, the hole will become smaller. So if you, if the hole becomes smaller, the blood that go through this pipe is like a vein, mm. lah. Huh? It will be yes. faster. Block or faster? Yeah, or, or it will be blocked. If it, it, it go faster, of course, we say it's a high blood pressure. At at some point, it will be blocked. And if block means what will happen? Heart attack. Yeah, the person will experience high blood means um the thing will burst outbreak yes and uh transform stroke okay so eventually it will burst depend on which part of your body let's say usually it burst in your brain then usually the person will die that is why always keep yourself healthy always exercise and stay fit because we don't want the disease to come when we are at the age of course if you are young. You don't really um, think about it, but um, eventually it will cost you as you grow up, and it will cost money, and it will cost um, is it will cost difficulty for your for your family time and money really not worth it. So always keep yourself healthy. You don't want this thing to burst in your body. Suggest a way to reduce. So now we know that Muhammad Sufyan is obese. Fat, yes. Obey. So what Muhammad Sufyan should do? So of course he, he, he there's a many answer. You can say healthy diet. He must have enough of exercise, and uh, he maybe to avoid food. Uh, avoid um high calorie food. I uh, you can see from here. Oh, I cannot see. I got a banana at here, but you cannot see. It. I like to eat fruit as my snack. Don't. Don't eat all the snack. Uh. Take I all the... You have? I don't, I don't. Yeah, you, you put a lot, a lot, a lot of fruit. I like to put a lot of fruit. I, I, I have to, just now I forget to buy. Just put a lot of fruit like kiwi, orange or what. And when you are hungry while you are watching Netflix, just take the banana and eat. Take the apple and eat. Apple more difficult uh, because you are watching movie, you don't want to peel it. But Maybe I think banana is easy. Ki kiwi is easy. Kiwi yeah, I cut into half and I and also dragon fruit. I put a lot. So uh if, if you you not only we study science for example, but I want to emphasize that how much important it this is in our life because eventually if you want to be successful, uh we want to take care of our health. We don't want to be successful, then all the money we just invest into the doctor. Uh, just now we should invest because time equals to Money. I just money. because I always tell myself I don't have enough time, but only I notice that I can increase my time by staying healthy. Because if I stay healthy, I will live longer. And if I live yes. longer, then eventually I <laughs> maybe Chinese mindset like I got more time to earn. Money. <laughs> if not, you eventually you 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 if you're not healthy, you are just wasting all the money only. Yeah, and you see the same thing. Dragon Five show a. Uh, Simple cell. So what time is it now? Okay, so we are. Uh, why don't we take a short break and I see you by nine o'clock? Okay.